Hey, city setters. Oh, door's a little rough still. I'm out in the greenhouse. Got to do a little bit of work today. And check it out. You see all this foam I got over here. So I got a couple little spots to do that one. A little bit on the side wall down here. But it is coming along. I am working on insulation, insulating in the greenhouse. Blah. Woo, woo, woo. I was already out here doing some work, so I'm a little bit of worn and torn out from it. I hate you on the stand. <clears throat> so I haven't done an update on the greenhouse recently, uh, but I'm in here today doing some work, and I thought, hey, let's talk about it. I'd like to say this gets more clear when it's more cloudy every day. But summer's gonna come and burn the stormy clouds and all the doubt away. So ignore the mess you see all over. But the heat sink, you guys remember we put those in. I'm very skeptic if they'll actually work in Michigan without adding anything to them. I got the stuff ready. Uh, we are gonna be working on building a solar air heater soon, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, so I got all the stuff to build a solar air heater, I think all here now at the city stead. So hopefully I'll be working on that fairly soon. I know it is the beginning of February, so obviously it's going to be a little bit warmer than it was in January. Although February is still a pretty cold month for us. But we're getting to the point where we're almost rolling into spring now, so kind of defeats the whole purpose of trying to do it throughout the winter. But our greens are still alive over there. Yeah, you see them all? I still got green out here. So that's very encouraging. Now add that with a little bit of a solar air heater up until the end of February when we get that really longer, warmer sun during the day. Uh, I think this thing is really gonna start flourishing and taking off for us. But until then, we're still you know, working on what this can actually do and accomplish for us. And we have a day outside where it's about 30 degrees. We do have a little bit of sun outside. Uh, I got one of these that's just kind of hanging out in here right now, and it's reading what 49 degrees So it is very very nice weather inside of the greenhouse uh, Just a little bit of Sun does so much to keep this greenhouse warm uh, Just the way it is also. I think having all that insulation over there I think it's really been working out because uh, I started noticing once I got that wall all shored up uh, That it really helped a lot. So now I got to work on the other wall, which is not insulated as of right now uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing I got to build some more pockets like this one has and then we'll be putting some foam in that wall to really hope and hold some of the air on on this side of it now but the rain barrel setup let's talk about that so with that little bit of Sun throughout the day here uh, we're kind of in the middle of the day right now the Sun's what there is of Sun I mean it's not blight blindly bright in our face or anything like that, but uh, there is some sun out there. Uh, these barrels are holding about 37 degrees. Uh, very interesting thought. I thought that they would freeze when we hit a few days where we were under you know, uh, 30 degrees even during the daytime days, but actually, uh, very surprisingly, these barrels have never really gone below uh, 29 degrees. It's kind of been where they sit. And I didn't put any kind of salt or sugar or anything in there. It's literally just water and uh, the tiny bit of pickle brine that was left in them. Uh, I don't know what that's doing or not, but I know it gives a nice aroma of pickles when I open them, and that's about it. I don't think it's really doing anything else. But having this thing sit when it's cold outside, uh, about 37 degrees right now, that to me is actually. A pretty good sign of what can happen when we get into March uh, still not necessarily what I want for January and February but in March I think these things are going to provide a lot of uh, bonus heat to this greenhouse at night so while this kind of thermal mass is not a instant uh, helper for the greenhouse it's not a, a solution and by any means when it comes to having a cold weather climate like we have uh, we're zone 5b 6a uh, this just is not gonna gonna do it on its own. So the solar air heater we're gonna build that we're gonna test it with that See if it heats this water up enough during the day to where at night it stays even warmer like above freezing actually uh, It would be great if I could get the inside of this greenhouse with the solar air heater around 60 70 because I think these would warm up to probably about 50 uh, maybe more and then at night they would let off that heat and it would stay pretty good in here 
Uh, so I still got a little bit of questions and research on how I'm going to set up the, I got a little uh, computer fan with a tiny solar panel, uh, how I'm going to set that up to work. Uh, probably going to just direct wire it so that when the sun's out, it runs the fan. When the sun goes down, it doesn't run the fan. Uh, I think that's probably the best way to do it, kind of a self-control, a self-timer if you will. Uh, so that'll probably be my next big project, probably for the weekend. I'm really hoping to get a chance to work on it. Uh, believe I got all the parts I need to make it. Uh, now I've ordered a couple things, I got them in, but I am actually pleasantly surprised by the fact that these have not frozen through. Uh, in fact, there's been just a thin layer of ice on the top of them and that's all I've seen the entire time I've had them out here. So you can see over on this wall, I ended up putting a couple little small brackets around here. And that was to actually be able to screw the outside board a little bit tighter. And then also to provide me a little bit of structure for when I was making these squares with the foam. You know, to fill them in there and then I can kind of freehand the outside a little bit less than having like a big giant piece I would have to fill in. Thought that would help a lot. And then also I'm thinking about securing uh, like an inner board, a wall inside. So that I can paint like a chalkboard paint so I can actually have like a note board out here at all times. So I want to make sure I got something in there I can use as a structure support for uh, nailing that to. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing over on this wall. You can see over here I just kind of a little bit of foam in the door. That's it. I kind of filled in around the gap there. Uh, that stuff's not permanent yet. I got to get the gonna figure out a way to make that a little bit better. But this is my next plan. Add those on this side. Same as over there, so I have a better structure for when I go to put the foam in and being able to make sure that those boards are very snug against the outside uh, frame of the cattle panel. And that's gonna help seal up a lot of those air gaps, make sure I don't have any air escaping. Uh, I don't know if you can see or not. Oh, I'm at risk such a way, ya. But you can see like right here, there's a little bit of a bounce in that board. So I'm losing air there. That's got the biggest thing is just sealing up all of these air gaps. Uh, by putting that frame right here, actually, let's do this right here. So by throwing this frame in here, that way I can nail that board right to this post, and that will hold it very flush and tight against my uh, foam here, to make a very, very airtight seal. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, what's on the docket next. Gotta get that taken care of. This is all quick and easy. I'm just throwing screws in there, no pilot holes or nothing. Uh, if you want real professional building, like I always say, go check out Jason at Soda Land. Very precision, very uh, you know methodical. His builds are perfect. Uh, mine are very functional. <laughs> I try to whip them out as fast as I can. I always have very limited time, right? Between work, between kids. Uh, it gets hard to actually put the effort in to try to really make something nice. I wish I could do that you know in the future when i get more time i will do that with projects but something like this uh, i'm just going to try to make sure i can get it sealed up as i can right now uh, before it gets too late slide that table back and we'll move on to the other side all right so just like that we got a nice tight seal on this side of the wall now perfect for what we need it's going to seal a lot of that warmth inside of here already and then we will put the insulation it'll be even better i'm not going to show you all that part because it's boring uh, i'm i'm boring myself just talking about this i gotta cut a lot of this foam stuff and then stick it in there and it's just tedious and long so i just wanted to give you guys a little update on the greenhouse i know you guys are all interested in knowing is the heat sink doing anything uh you know I promise to give you guys updates, so I want to make sure you guys know I am going to give you the updates, I promise. About 36 degrees in the barrel right now. Pretty decent for a 30 degree day with 
a tiny bit of sun. Uh, but I got to get going because the little guy, I think, is about to wake up from his nap. And, you know, my wife is sick and so are the other two kids. So I'm going to go inside, give him a hand, make sure everybody's uh, taken care of. Because that's part of my job. I take it serious. All right. So remember, whoa, you guys are all tilted. Hold on. A little less tilted. All right, so as always, remember, be bold, grow bold. I'll see you guys in the very next video. See ya.